Hello, and welcome to Wired, episode one. My name is Colette Wallace, and in this episode, I'll be talking to you about fire risk assessments. A fire risk assessment, put simply, is an assessment of the fire risks to occupants of a building and other people in the vicinity of a building and to ensure that those people are safe from the risk of fire and its effects. If you are responsible for people and or a public space, the likelihood is that you will need to have a fire risk assessment performed. The government states that you must keep a written record of your fire risk assessment if your business has five or more people. It is recommended that you have an FRA every four to five years or whenever new structural or layout changes occur to your site. Fire risk assessments are usually carried out by a professional risk assessor, the fee of which can vary depending on the size of the site and the complexity of the report required. However, FRAs can be carried out by a competent individual, providing they follow strict guidelines and fill out the appropriate paperwork set out by the government. Guidance can be found in the Fire Regulatory Reform Order, which we will cover in more detail in this series of podcasts. There are five main steps laid out by the government for conducting fire risk assessments. Number one, identify the fire hazards. Number two, identify people at risk. Number three, evaluate, remove or reduce the risks. Number four, record your findings prepare an emergency plan and provide training. And finally, number five, review and update the fire risk assessment regularly. However, I do recommend you get your fire risk assessments performed by a professional as to ensure that it is carried out correctly and to ensure the safety of yourself and those you are responsible for. You must consider worst case scenario. Are you content or qualified to stand in the dock and defend your assessment and its findings. Why not employ a professional and be safe in someone else's hands? For more information, visit www.jproservices.co.uk Thanks for listening.